Ever since uh, Roger Bannister from Great Britain broke the four minute mile in 1954, track and field and especially long distance running was an international event. These guys were sort of sports celebrities and they competed to see who could get the lowest time. And in the United States in the 1960s, there were very well-known distance runners that were actually crossover celebrities into pop culture. Steve Prefontaine, Marty LaQuarrie, uh, Jim Ryan. And under the radar was a little-known miler from uh, Canton, Ohio named Dave Waddle. Now, Dave Waddle is an interesting story. As a young boy, he was so sickly that his doctor told him he needed to get more exercise. And Dave, young Dave, took up running as a uh, avocation and he wore his trademark golf cap to keep his long hair in check. Dave Waddle uh, was a modest miler in high school, to put it mildly. He ran a four minute 20, which was not good enough uh, really to, to qualify for the Olympics, but good enough to get a track and field scholarship to Bowling Green University, where he was a history major and a mild-mannered uh, miler within four years turned into a a uh, very, very uh, significant middle distance runner, enough to qualify for the 1972 Olympics in Munich, Germany, where he would run against uh, the famous Soviet uh, 800 meters champion who had not lost a race in three years, uh, Yevgeny Arzhenov, and Mike Boyd, the famous Kenyan. And here he is right now, preparing for the race in which he is the favorite. Like the man who won the 100 meters, he is from the Ukraine. In lane three, Dave Waddle with the golf cap from the United States. And Mike Voigt, the surprise from Kenya. And on the outside, we have Kuchik the pole. Dave Waddle was injured going into the 1972 Olympics, and he was also newly married. And he had tendonitis in his knee, and he wanted to turn back unless his wife told him to stay, which she did. She motivated him to stay. Dave Waddle stayed and lined up against the best 800 meter runners in the world. And Dave Waddle kept his trademark golf cap on at the start. And as you can see here, he was nervous, very nervous. He said he was the most nervous he's ever been in his life and he started out very slowly, um, very slowly, as you can see in the back of the pack. And as the race began, 800 meters is two laps around the, 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 the track. And at the end of the race, Dave Waddle engineered his famous kick, as it is called, and dramatically wearing his golf cap, he lunged forward and narrowly beat his Soviet competitor. And that was the story of the 1972 800 meters for the gold medal. After the race, Waddle looked stunned. He was stunned. He didn't know if he had won or not. And he was so stunned at the medal ceremony, he forgot to take off his golf cap. The victory platform ceremony takes place. Dave Waddle is flanked by Arzhenov and Boyd as the national anthem is played. In his excitement, Dave Waddle has forgotten to remove his hat. The Olympics were very political at the time. Some people wondered if it was a statement. Actually, it wasn't. He just forgot to take it off because he always wore it. He thought it was felt natural. And when he got off the medal stand, he met his mother and she didn't congratulate him for winning a gold medal at the Olympics. She admonished him for not taking off his cap for the national anthem. And that's the story of Dave Waddle, the 1972 Olympic 800 meter champion.